Guys, I was just watching a video and I got a good idea for one of these short little talks I've been doing. Um, I saw a video where the system had low airflow and it really wasn't dramatically low. It was, let's say, four tons of 1600 CFM and something like it would have had like 14 or 1450. Something where the system will still run in condition but just could be a little bit better. And the reason was that the returns were so cut up it was more than likely, I don't know the particulars of it, but a really old house where you have limited space. Full returns, limited access. You know, these places are just a pain in the ass. Every place you want to put a return, there's no way to do it. So I was offering up an idea of how you could get that last little bit of air and benefit the system along the way. Now, the idea I have is outside air. You bring in outside air for a number of reasons. Commercial applications, you bring in outside air because it's required because you have a gathering area and we all hear about carbon monoxide in uh, combustion analysis but if you have a bunch of people in a room you could have an excess of carbon dioxide because basically they're all breathing as long as they're all alive and they're all making carbon dioxide of course a room can get filled with it or overloaded with it and there's actually carbon dioxide alarms just like there's carbon monoxide alarms but outside air is a way that you can bring in fresh air and exchange some of that air out that's sort of spent, for lack of a better word. But in the case of a residential application, why I like fresh air is a couple different reasons. You're short on airflow, the first thing that happens is the coil temperature gets lower. As the coil temperature gets lower, it sweats more, you have more latent cooling, but it's hard on the coil, it's hard on the internal components of the machine because they're at a lower temperature, they tend to sweat a little bit more so it can, it can cause some issues with that in that area. If you're bringing outside air, especially in the summertime, you'll be getting warmer air. You'll be raising the coil temperature. You have the proper amount of airflow. And you'll also be bringing in your infiltration, what would have been infiltrated air through doors and windows. You're basically telling it where to enter the house. You're bringing it right into the HVAC system. You're cooling it off and thus pressurizing the house. And if you can have like a rough idea of how much, how many CFM outside air is infiltrating the house, which is it's difficult to do unless you do like some sort of whole house blower door deal. But if you, let's say you want to use just like a six or eight inch duct and you're gonna get between 80 and maybe 150 CFM at the most, depending on how long the run is, you could offset quite a bit of that infiltrated air with your air you're bringing in via the ductwork. You're telling the air where to go. You can filter it, first of all. You can condition it. Of course, remember your filter has to be at the HVAC equipment for that. You can't have filter grills unless you filter the outside air separately, which I've done on a few occasions, so it works. But it's a good way to solve a few problems when you have some pain in the ass. Uh, low airflow, when it's just a minor degree of low airflow. Of course, you can't take half the air from the outside. That's going to suck. But you can get maybe 10% of it, a small section of it from the outside. And that way you can combat infiltration and get the coil temperature up to where it should be. So, see you guys on the next one.